Despite recent bank runs, there shouldn't be a 2008-like disaster. But that doesn't mean the economy is in a good spot either. Investors have been spooked by the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, as well as the Swiss National Banking Facility, UBS's $3.2 billion purchase of Credit Suisse. First Republic's bank stock falling more than 70% and bank stocks on whole being hammered. Many seem to think like a 2008 financial crisis is beginning. Lehman Brothers was an investment bank, and both Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank were commercial banks. The size was also quite different, despite Silicon Valley Bank being the second biggest bank failure in American history. Lehman Brothers had $600 billion in assets in 2008. Silicon Valley only had $198 billion, about a third the size. Adjusting for 15 years of inflation, signature, uh, Silicon Valley was roughly about 20% of the size of Lehman Brothers. Even more important, the assets that had caused the run on Lehman Brothers and Silicon Valley Bank are about as different as they could be. For Lehman Brothers, it was a series of highly leveraged derivatives secured against highly leveraged mortgages given to unqualified buyers that were going delinquent in mass. With Silicon Valley Bank, the asset in question were fully performing bonds, supposedly some of the safest assets around. Now, unlike Lehman Brothers, neither Silicon Valley Bank nor Signature Bank were investment banks, nor were they key in intermediaries. Silicon Valley Bank was heavily connected to tech and Signature Bank to crypto. But moreover, broadly speaking, there are two ways a bank can collapse, insolvency and illiquidity. Insolvency means the bank's assets are worth less than its liabilities. This was the case with Lehman Brothers. Now, illiquidity means there is a maturity mismatch, which, as Investopedia defines it, commonly alludes to situations involving a company's balance sheet. A business cannot meet its financial obligations of its short-term liabilities to outweigh its short-term assets and will likely run into problems if its long-term assets are funded by short-term liabilities. Both SVB and Signature are, li are illiquidity bankruptcies, which are less destructive as the bank's assets are not necessarily toxic. They just can meet their short-term obligations, or they just can't meet them. Indeed, when Silicon Valley Bank's assets are auctioned off, it won't come close to a, a total loss. For this reason, it is unlikely that these bank failures are going to be the beginning of an economy-wide collapse like 2008. Now, unfortunately, it does create an enormous problem for the Federal Reserve and likely signifies that it will be in an economic malaise for some time. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, hope you have a good day.